fish sales. Today's a day of exploration. I'm gonna be hopping from one spot to the next and looking forward to seeing what's in the water and fishing the Peshtigo River. Never fished it before, really looking forward to it. Stay tuned. fish are holding today. It rained a bunch yesterday. The water's flowing really high and fast, but generally they'll push upstream in these eddies. So hoping to find them. Let's go fish. Here we go, first fish. Whoa! Well, there he goes. Set the hook a little too hard on this guy. And he went flying out. Okay then. First fish released. Here is a better fish. Second cast, right after that first one. Pretty good head shakes. <laughs> oh, pretty nice feeling fish here. About one minute into the fishing. Get them out of that current. Oh yeah, beautiful. Peshtigo River smallmouth. Look at that. Oh, nice. Just beautiful fish. Hey, right off the bottom. First one of the day, it's just a hefty guy here. Ate a Ned rig, second cast after that. Five incher that I set the hook on too hard. And there's the Ned rig just right off the bottom. I noticed a pool of crayfish, probably 10 crayfish all huddled together. So they're feeding off the bottom and you can't beat a Ned rig. Let's let this big guy go. There he goes. Beautiful. Here's a fish. Not feeling super big. Yeah, he's not. But he hit that right in the middle of the river just out of the fast current. Back he goes. I got a few fish on the dead rig, bouncing on the bottom and it's a good way to go, but I'm gonna try something different. Try more of a minnow bait imitation. So I'm gonna put a fly that I actually tie. Uh, it's a really cool one that looks just like any rip shiner you would ever see. And then what I'm gonna do is hook it to a beetle spin with a little bit of flash to it and swing that in the current like it would be with a fly rod. So I'm gonna hope that maybe this gets some activity that the bottom feeding fish weren't interested in, but maybe the uh, minnow eating, streamer hitting, hungry fish are gonna eat. Let's see what happens. Not a lot of weight to it, so I'm gonna get some water on it. Like it. First cast. Now, if this doesn't look like a popper spot, I don't know what does. Nice backwater, no current. Fish is sitting in here for something to come by like a frog. A few casts here with it being a little brighter out and then we gotta move on. There we go. Oh, he hit that hard. Oh, he feels pretty good. Oh, oh, oh. oh, got off. Oh man, I am feeling that in my heart. Head shakes were big. 
Oh, I thought I had him hooked nicely. No. Oh, God. Okay. Just retied on my jig as I was bringing it in. It fell right off. I think it had some frayed aspects of the line with all these jagged rocks. And the jig fell off right in this little water here. But I got in without falling in and got it. Salvaged the jig. Now let's see if there's something big around here besides that one I lost and the one I caught. Here we go. There we go. Oh, just broke me off. What was that? That had so much weight. Clean break off. You can see there's no knot that came undone. Oh, that was a big boy. Put the Senko on. Maybe I can hook into something that wasn't biting the Ned Rig or Topwater. I have a shot at some of these heavy fish that I already lost and broke my line on. What? Broke my line? Again? What is down there? Lost the big one there. Broke my line on something huge there. And just something snapped me off without even feeling it. It just clear cut me off. So I'm gonna try to do a swim bait with a darter head jig and hope to get a better hook set. And I don't wanna leave until I catch it. Here we go. Just missed one. Right here. Oh! Broke me off again. What is down there? Oh, I don't know if he's got three lures in his mouth or what. And that was heavy, it wasn't moving. In my fly box, I located a steel leader connected to my popper. And I use this when there's northern around and catching them on the fly rod. I'm going to put this on my spinning reel, see if I can catch what's down there without it breaking me off. Here we go. This is something big. And that steel leader, hopefully... Holy... broke me off musky oh was that huge i couldn't stop it oh was that big i don't know if that's the same one that's got four lures in his mouth oh man and there's my only steel eater ah uh, that's not the small mouth i was initially after wow that's all i can say hello hey dropping a canoe in uh, more like a raft oh awesome but, yep yeah, it'll be fun. Good luck. Yeah, you too. Working my way to the next hole. Found my next hole. Got one. Immediately. Oh. <laughs> Little guy. Anybody else home? Let's find out. Here's a fish. Oh, flipped him over the rock. <laughs> Where are the bigger ones, huh? Got one. Maybe an inch bigger. <laughs> oh, they're right in front of me. Big one. Where are you? I can keep it out of the current like that. Oh, that one hit harder. But he's no bigger. This one feels a little bigger. It's hard to say in the current. They definitely fight either way. Oh, yeah, he's a little bigger.
See if I can get way up in there. Oh, I like that cast. Come on. Eat. Oh, oh man. That was a small one, but darted after it. Whoa, another one has it. <laughs> there. Another one here. About that same size. And back you go. And that one I'm going to flip over the tree. No, I did. Because he's only three ounces. And there you go. This one feels better. What do we got for size? This one's not flippable. Come on in. Boy, they fight in this current. He is what we're after. There he is. Got him. I knew there were some more in that hole that weren't four to five to six inches. 